how you can transition your costume from day to night. And all you have to do is buy two pairs of black tights and then cut a hole in the crotch of one of them. And that one will go on the top of your body and then the other one will go on your legs. And that way you can easily transition your costume from day to night. Can we just take a minute to reminisce on the good days of being young and trick-or-treating and getting free candy? Well guys, don't worry, that doesn't have to stop. If you think you're too old to go trick-or-treating, all you need is a trench coat and a mask and you're golden. Aren't you tall? If you want a cool costume but you don't want to sacrifice any of your clothes by doing so, all you have to do is pick up some sticky velcro circles and then you can apply those all over a dress and then take them off once you're done and voila. Let's just be honest, everyone loves a good pun. Okay, maybe not everyone, but I sure do. And that's why this next costume is super easy and quick. And for this, all you'll need is a white t-shirt. And then write a pun on there. So for those of you out there who are either lazy, cheap, or need a fast costume, this is perfect for you. So if you're on a bit of a budget, which let's face it, we have all been there, all you need is a headband, a glue gun, and some construction paper, and you can basically make any type of animal you want. I'm sure you've never thought of that, so you're welcome. What are you supposed to be? A flying cupcake? You seriously can't tell? Wings, cake, costume. Oh. I'm angel food cake. Okay. Never underestimate the power of a sign. This is Halloween, this is Halloween, 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 Halloween. And by sign, I mean cardboard sign. Don't worry, we're not getting too serious here. If you have a costume that takes a little bit of explaining, instead of having to tell people over and over again what you are, just write it on a cardboard sign and then carry that around and show it to people when they ask what your costume is. <laughs> So a super cheap alternative is to buy some yarn and secure those in your pigtails using elastics and you have a super cheap alternative to an expensive wig. <music> to add an extra layer of dimension to your costume to make it just a little bit cooler, all you have to do is take a wire coat hanger and then cut that in half and stick it in your hair so you can do some braids to the side or other cool hairstyles. It will just make your costume a whole lot better and get you a lot of attention. <laughs> your costume, try DIYing your own tattoo sleeves, and this is super easy. All you need to do is buy some nylons and then use a different color of Sharpies to create your own pattern, and it's just super fun. Hello? Girl, you've got to come to this party. It's friggin' lit. Hi, Linda. Yeah, no, I listen, I'm too bogged out of work. I can't come tonight. No, just, I don't even have a costume. Just get some sticky notes, put them on your body, and be a bulletin board. Okay, fine, I'll be Yo! See you soon, girl. Phone. Damn it. I'm gonna get some water. So those are all the hacks. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I had so much fun putting this together. Like seriously, just, just so much fun. So you guys have so many more fun Halloween videos to look forward to and I am super excited to get those out for you guys. Also leave some suggestions down below, letting me know any videos you guys wanna see from me. And if you're not following me on Twitter and Instagram as well, that would be super awesome. I go traveling a lot, so I have a lot of really cool photos of my travels on my Instagram. Well, I think they're cool. They, okay, I don't know. Guys, if you haven't clicked that subscribe button, come on, just, just likes, likes. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day filled with fun and happiness and Halloween-ness, except there's like a month and a half to Halloween. It's cool. It's fine. Whatever. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye. Starting with this really creepy skull towel, which is so easy to make and definitely perfect for Halloween. The first thing you're going to need is some skulls, so just take three skulls and I found mine in a craft store. Then what you'll need to do is glue the skulls on top of each other using hot glue. So just place the skulls on top of each other and hold them for a little bit while the glue dries. And you want to make sure that your towel is going up straight so it's not a leaning tower of skulls. And then what we are going to need is two pop bases and I just found these at a flower shop. So just go ahead and take one of the bases and flip it upside down and this is going to be the bottom of our tower and apply some glue to it and then stick the tower on top of the pot.
Then taking the other pot base, we're going to stick this on top of the tower. So just apply some glue to the bottom of this pot base and then stick it to the head of the top of the skull. It looks like a little hat. And then let this dry and then it's time to spray paint it. And you can spray paint this whatever your colour you like. But I just went with a matte black because I thought it looked the coolest. And you can use this for whatever you like. I put a skull on top of mine. I don't think it's steady enough to hold a candle. It's a bit wobbly so I don't think I'd use it for that. But it just looks so creepy and awesome. Now for this blood pillow, which was so fun to make, the first thing you're going to need is a pillowcase, and I went with this white pillowcase, and then you're going to need some red paint, and then just begin painting your hand, and this tickles a little bit, and it's so much fun. And then, so just paint your hand, and then what you're going to want to do is press your hand down evenly on the pillowcase, and then just repeat it for the other hand. And then I felt like the pillowcase needed something a little bit extra, so I took it outside and took some extra paint and just flicked it at the pillow to look like a blood splatters and I think it turned out really well and it was super effective and then I just put a pillow inside and it was super creepy and awesome looking. Now for this monster eyes wreath which is kind of cute and kind of creepy. The first thing you're going to need is a foam wreath which you can just find at the craft store. Then taking some black feather boas just begin wrapping the feather boas around the wreath and I just secured mine with some hot glue. Now for the eyes, you can either use ping pong balls or I found these foam balls at the craft store and then just begin sticking them all over the wreath so that they look like eyes poking out of the feathers. And then once you've stuck them on, you can just take some googly eyes and stick them on as well and then you have this creepy monster eye wreath which is so cute and I love how easy this was to make. Now for my favourite which is these blood window clings that I got a bit carried away and I made so many of these because they were so much fun to make. The first thing you're going to need to do is cover a board with some cling wrap and make sure it's really smooth. Then taking some glue, some non-toxic glue, begin placing it on your hand and this tickled as well. <laughs> and then just coat your hand in glue and then what you want to do is carefully place your hand down on the cling wrap so that you leave a hand glue print. And then I just repeated it with a few other hands and then just go in with some extra glue just to make it a little bit thicker and then just let these dry and then once they're dry you're going to need to take more glue and then some red paint and to make it look a bit more of a blood color just add some blue paint and mix it all together and then go ahead and paint over the handprints and I also added some little spots of glue just so that it would look like little splatters of blood when I stuck it on the window and then just let these dry and then once they're dry you can just pull them off the cling wrap and stick them to your mirror or your window and they look super creepy and super perfect for Halloween. Now for this really spooky web pillow, the first thing you're going to need is some 3D fabric paint and I found mine at the craft store. And then just taking a pillowcase, just begin drawing lines out from the center of the pillowcase all the way to the edge. And you can see what I'm doing there if I was terrible at explaining it. And then just go around and make little lines in between the other lines so that it looks like a web. And I know that explanation was probably terrible, but hopefully seeing what I'm doing is making more sense. And then that is it for this pillow. I love how easy this was to make. It was so quick and I love how it looks on my bed. Now for these creepy crawly spiders because you can't have Halloween without fake spiders. The first thing you're going to need is some black wire. So just cut the wire into four 30 centimeter lengths and I just used a ruler to do this. Then begin twisting two of the pieces of wire together in the middle and then repeat this to the two other pieces as well. And then you will have something that looks like that. And then just go ahead and glue these together with some hot glue so that they won't separate. Then start bending all the pieces of wire up in the same direction. It's already starting to look like a spider. And then just go ahead and fold those pieces of wire back on each other so he has these long, creepy, spooky legs. Ok 
Okay, so now this spider needs a head and a body, so just go ahead and glue two pom-poms together, and then you can use whatever you think would look good for the eyes. You could use beads or sequins, or I use these little red rhinestones, so just stick them to the head, and then just go ahead and stick the body onto the legs, and then you have these really adorable creepy crawly spiders. channel and in today's video it is the first of my Halloween series and I'm going to be sharing with you guys some great Halloween hacks and a lot of them are like food related hacks and are really really fun. If you like this video don't forget to give it a good old thumbs up so that I know and I can make more Halloween videos and if you are new I would love for you to subscribe it is just the red button here or the one down below so that you can see all of the videos coming up and Guys, the Halloween food videos are going to be like, I'm just so excited. So definitely subscribe and yeah, let's get into the video. So the first hack I have for you guys is how to create these really cool like glow in the dark eyes and you probably have these things laying around because I know I did and all you need is a toilet paper roll or like a paper towel roll you can just cut that one in half and a glow stick and just turn the glow stick on like crack it until it's lit up and then put it inside the toilet paper roll after you've cut out some like eyes and then once you turn the lights off you'll just see these glowing eyes and you can put this in your room around your house like if you're watching scary movies I think it's a really fun and like cheap easy DIY to do. The second one is how to make some spider ice cubes so I just took some spiders that were in those webs that you buy at the dollar store and I put them in the ice cube tray along with some water and froze them and then if you're having a party you can just put those ice cubes in your drink and then it will look like a spiders are crawling in your drink and it looks kind of gross but also really cool. This next one is a hack that I have been doing it since I was little and I was having my Halloween party since I was like 10 years old and all you need is a glove like you can get them at the dollar store or sometimes if you just have one laying around like those plastic gloves and you just fill it with water and then freeze it and then once it's frozen you can take the glove off and you have this frozen hand and you put it in your punch bowl if you have like red punch and it looks like a hand is floating in it and I remember all my friends thought this was so cool at my Halloween parties and I just think it looks so fun so yeah definitely try it out. This next one is how to make a jack-o-lantern out of something other than a pumpkin and I'm going to be making little like avocado jack-o-lanterns I think they're so cute so of course you need an avocado and you're going to need one that's ripe enough that you can cut into it but not super ripe where it's going to be mushy and then you need to cut out the eyes the nose and then the mouth and you want to do like the skin and the portion of it so you get into the core so it kind of creates that depth of field and you'll see the brown core that'll help make the eyes and the nose but for the teeth you just need to do the skin and then I scored it to make the happy smile of like, the teeth and I just think this is so fun because it's like a skull but it's avocado and it's something different than a normal pumpkin. This next one is how to create your own bloody looking at candles. So I just got some plain white candles from the dollar store and then a red one. And then you need to light the red one and let it drip down the sides of the white one and then it'll look like the blood is dripping down. That way when you light it, it'll be kind of a little spooky looking and I think it turned out really well. So I would definitely suggest trying this out. This next one is how to make your own vampire donuts. So all you need are some donuts, some chocolate chips, and some fangs. So all you need to do is bend the fangs a bit and put them into the hole of the donut. And then I just took some backwards chocolate chips and I pushed them into the donut to make the eyes. And there you go, some vampire donuts. Super quick to make and a super cool treat for your Halloween party or any kind of Halloween get together. And if you want to go more of the healthier route, you can also make some fun treats out of the bananas and chocolate chips. So I just cut them in half to kind of look like ghosts. And then I put two eyes and kind of a mouth a bit farther down to be the mouth of the ghost. And there you go, you have a bananas or bananas that look like ghosts. And I think they're really fun too. This next one is how to make your own DIY fake blood at home because it's Halloween so there's probably like some sort of blood you're going to want to make and all you need is water, cornstarch, cocoa, and some red food coloring and you just mix those together. I'll leave the measurements down in the description box but then you'll have this really nice like homemade fake blood and you can use it for costumes, for makeup, or just like wherever you want to put it around your house and yeah it's a great fake blood recipe. Now if you are carving a pumpkin a great way to help keep it fresh so it doesn't go moldy especially if you're keeping it inside or you live in a place where it's really warm is so you use it those sealed packets that you get when you buy things that like need to keep dry and it says like do not eat on the package those is what really helps keep your things dry when they're like shipping and it's going to help keep your pumpkin from getting too moist and like getting all moldy so just put that inside your pumpkin and it will absorb the moisture and then that way it will last a longer time Another way to help preserve your pumpkin is to rub the outside with Vaseline if you're going to be using them for like decoration and you don't want them to kind of go moldy or turn into rotten. The Vaseline and just buff that onto the outside of it and you will be good to go. 
fake blood is super easy to make and you probably already have all the ingredients. For this you will need a little bit of liquid chocolate, a little bit of honey, and a bunch of drops of red food coloring. Mix all well together and that's it! There you have it! Not only looks super real, but it's edible! A lot of you wanted to see how I did the blood for my last video, so I really hope you like it! And if you're going to use this fake blood recipe, don't forget to tag me on Instagram or Twitter! The next hack is to make vampire fangs out of fake nails! I saw this idea on Pinterest and I had to try it! For this you will need to cut the nail in a triangle shape and then use a nail file to remove or to avoid any sharp edges. And that's it, now all you have left to do to glue this on your teeth is to add some false teeth glue, the one that is for dentures. And you can easily find that on Walmart or Target or just ask your grandparents. To make a light bulb that glows without any electricity, you will need a fake light bulb like this one from any crafter or even a real one, just be careful with that. Cover the inside of the light bulb using any kind of UV reactive paint. You can easily find that on Amazon or at any Halloween store. This light bulb is going to look that is glowing without any electricity under black light and it looks totally amazing. You can even draw a ghost face on it if you want but that is completely optional. You can use this DIY as a party decor or just to add a spooky touch to your room. This monster phone case is certainly super cute and easy to make. You will need a clear phone case and we are going to start painting with nail polish random shapes all around the case to represent the monsters. Make sure you are painting this on the inside of the case to prevent the paint from cracking. On top you can draw or glue some googly eyes to give more a spooky effect and that's it! Super easy, cute and it looks totally amazing under black lights! And well guys, that's it for today's video! I really hope you like these super easy hacks, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see part 2! I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video! Bye!